Mash Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with my classic television show series. In this one I'm going to be doing a design for MASH. I love MASH. It's a show that I watched all the time when I was younger with my family at night. It was played reruns all the time so I'm very familiar with it and it's one of my favorites and I know I'm saying this about all these classic TV shows. I prefer old TV instead of new TV. I'm a weird one and so it, I'm loving this series more than you know. I hope you like it as well, and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos and future classic TV show designs as well. Begin by painting all of your nails a dark green nail polish. So now on my index nail with tan, sort of a yellowish, tannish, beige color paint, I'm going to be painting the beginning of a mash, so I'm going to be painting M asterisk A. And so I have the M and I'm just going to paint a general M and then I'm going to add the little tabs on the ends of each of those lines. That's going to give it that sort of a uh, type appearance. And then I'm going to add the A next to it. Same thing. Just paint on an A and then add the little, I don't know what to call them, the little, you know, whatever. And then paint the asterisk between them. And then with black paint, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to make it look like these were stenciled on. So I'm going to add my black lines to separate out the different lines of the letters. That's um, If you look at their logo, you can see them pretty easy where they are, and that might help you out to know exactly where they're placed. And then on my middle nail, I'm going to be painting an S first, and that's just off to the center, or off center of the nail, so it's in the side towards the A on your index nail. And then I'm going to put an asterisk before it, and then I'm going to add my H after it and that's going to be towards the very edge of my nail on the other side. It's the same thing, paint your letters, just very basic, and then add those little flourishes and an asterisk between them. Ooh, saying that word a whole bunch of times, it starts to get a little strange. And then I'm once again going to be adding the little uh, black lines between them. On my ring nail, I'm going to be painting a camouflage pattern, so I'm going to use three shades of green and then sort of a creamy color and just painting random splotches here and there all around and then I'll do some of one color and then go through with a different color. I know that the color I'm using now looks very very similar to the background color. In real life you can tell that it is more of a rich shade of green, less muted. And then I'm going to go through with my cream and I lied, it's not three shades of green, it's two. I was including the background color so it's, it is three but you just, you know, I'm only, only using paint of two colors of green. On my pinky nail, I'm going to be painting a bandage. So I'm going to start by painting a long oval that just goes across my nail. You can do this any way you want. You could do two or three bandages if you wanted, depending on how long your nail is. You can make them go in a crisscross, or you can do one just like I did. And then while it's wet, I'm going to take a cream color and I'm going to highlight the center where the little cotton padding is of the bandage in case you're bleeding out. And I'm going to highlight the center like that and just touch it up with more of that uh, beige color if I need to afterwards. Oh, I'm going to highlight again. I was being a little bit persnickety at that moment, I guess. And now I'm going to be adding a series of white dots going in lines across the bandage. So I'm just going to start, make one in the middle, and then add dots going next to it on either side. Just to make it, because they've all got those little pinholes for so that your, your owie can breathe. Um, and then I'm going to be outlining the bandage with a black outline. This is really going to make it show up nice and bright. And also, if it wasn't quite perfect before, this is going to perfect all those lines for you. I'm going to add a slight outline around that center padding as well. On my thumb with white paint, I'm going to be painting a pair of lips right in the center of the nail. And so to start out with the top lip, it's sort of a elongated M that's nice and round and then sort of an elongated U for the lower lip. And there's just a slight line between the two. Above that, I'm going to be writing hot. So there's going to be the O straight in the center, straight in the center, that doesn't make any sense, right above the lips in the center of my nail, and then the H to the one side. And once again, I'm adding those little tabs on my letters so it has the same style of font that the logo is, and then a T after the O. And then beneath that, I'm going to be writing lips, and so I'm going to start with an I that's just, or I'm start with the P that's just slightly off center, and then the eye is going to go slightly off center on the other side, just like so. And then before the eye, you're going to need to paint an L. And after the P, you're going to need to paint an S. And 
Now I'm going to be covering up all of my white paint with red. The reason I wanted to put the white paint underneath the red is because uh, red acrylic paint is not the most pigmented color available and so if you were just to paint that on top of the dark green even if it looked good at the moment as soon as you put the top coat on that green is gonna leach through your red and make it either disappear or it's going to make it much darker and harder to see or sometimes it has the effect where it just comes through in sections and then it makes it look splotchy and not quite right so if you put the white underneath that that's going to make your red look so much brighter and it's going to make your hot lips really show up nice and vibrantly and now i'm going to be adding those lines like i have been all throughout on my letters with black and also if you needed to touch up your lips at this point you could also do that with black it would be a-okay and now i'm going to be applying a layer of top coat Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I would absolutely love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!